Hi, I'm Jesse Jacobs, and I'm here today with Alice Cravens, owner of Modern Tea. Maybe you can talk a little bit about your, your philosophy of, of food, food being a strong part of what you offer here, and um, what's important, and why, and the challenges that you see. The joy is, is to be able to show people what we've learned from working directly with farmers. And here's this delicious, fresh food that was on the farm yesterday, and people's reaction to how delicious it is, that's what keeps us going. By showing kind of an American palette or a California palette with touches here and there, we felt the accessibility for what we do would be so much greater. So we'll have little twists and turns here and there, but it's just the desire to be accessible and enjoyable is where our food comes from. So you ordered a few things from your kitchen here, and uh, maybe you can tell us what you have. Great. Uh, we first have our chicken quinoa chowder. Uh, with spinach and a little bit of chicken in there, a little jalapeno, a little lime, along with its side salad. Uh, and today the side salad has a little bit of watermelon radish on top. And then the next dish here in the middle, that's our modern tea coleslaw uh, over rice noodles. And it's probably as Asian as we get. Uh, it's got a nice kind of soy, ginger, vinaigrette on it. and the dark uh, pieces you see on top, that's actually seaweed, that's a sajiki. Uh, so it's a great combination. We have so many customers eat that and they say they just feel so good afterwards. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. And then the last one there, our dessert uh, right now, it's a Meyer lemon buttermilk pudding cake. Uh, just a wonderful cloud that goes down nice and easy. Not overwhelming, but you definitely feel satisfied, so it's a, a lot of fun. All organic. We used to have a salad with roasted beets in it. We, we're not currently running that right now. Uh, and people would eat a, a roasted beet and they go, what is this? And I'm thinking, it's a beet. But it's a wonderful golden beet that's been roasted and it was picked, you know, maybe two days ago. Right. Uh, so sweet. Yeah, yeah. So what is slow food? The slow food movement on the outside looks like this wonderful, enjoy the meal, live life. Mm -hmm. So, inside, it's really, uh, I don't want to use the term desperate, but almost desperate effort to really help, you know, our basic food, um, food growing. The real generations past, kind of like how, how tea gardens used to grow. One of the examples that Carlo Petrini put out was in Italy, for example, there's so many different varieties of tomato, not just one. Um, but in a certain area of Italy, they stopped growing that tomato completely. And they were bringing in tomatoes from another country. And instead, they were using that area of Italy to grow bulbs for Holland. Wow. So they created this way around the world where, you know, all this, all this food is moving around the world because it can. Um, but they're losing this tomato. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's really trying to hold on to these wonderful varieties that we have mm -hmm. and supporting the farmers that are wanting to sustain them. So what can one person do? What impact can they make and how can they make it? They can buy from a farmer's market. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about the fair trade movement and how that relates to tea and why it's important. The core of what fair trade means to me is very important. And it is just that, supporting farmers and helping to make sure that the money that you're spending, what the trail it's actually taking back to the farmer. So you can communicate with that farmer and have your money work better for them as well as for you. My understanding is it costs $30,000 to get certified for fair trade, okay. up to that much. So there's so many different bodies involved that need to check off that need the money. Right. And part of my thinking right now is, well that's great, but I'd love to have the $30,000 go towards the farmer. Right. Well, how do you feel about the environmental impact of bringing tea, something that's great, but bringing it such great distance as well to America? And that's an excellent question because we focus so much on local and organic in our foods. Uh, will that become an issue? I think it's such a small quantity mm -hmm. and the importance of supporting these farmers mm -hmm. in these third world countries is so great right now mm -hmm. that there is a huge value in that, that mm -hmm. whole slow food methodology mm -hmm. of Let's support like-minded farmers abroad. 
Well, thank you so much, Alice, for an amazing cup of tea. Thank you. And it was great. Thank you, tea. Thank you, tea. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for talking with us about your place and your, your world of tea. Thank you, Jesse. It's been a lot of fun.